hot one, Captain. The hottest fire we've had in a long time. Yeah, we need more help around here. Say, where are those three chuckleheads? Oh, those three nuts? Yeah. Huh, I guess the squirrels got them. Ah, uh, no such luck. Ring the bell. I'll take care of them. Hey, you three up there! shaking our touches with the girls last night. Just why did you three half-wits join the fire department? So we wouldn't have to buy any tickets for the fireman's ball. A <laughs> uh, comedian, eh? Now listen. You listen. You've dished fire, slept through alarms, been late for duty, and broken every rule in the book. You're through. You're fired. And if this were the army, I'd have you shot at sunrise. But you couldn't do that, Captain. We don't get up that early. No! Come on. Now listen, Cap. You wouldn't turn us out into the cold, cruel world. Supposing it was snow and we'd freeze. Yeah, it'd be cruelty to animals. Our girls love us in these uniforms. Oh, Captain, give us another chance, will you? We'll put a fire out single-handed. We'll put two fires out double-handed. We'll even start a fire and have you put it out. Well, I guess I'm just an old softy. I'll give you another chance. But remember, this is the last one. Oh, oh thank you, Rocky. Now get to work and wash that hose. We gotta come through for the captain. And the crew. And Alma Mamie, too. Come on, get busy. <laughs> 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 Here's your new car, Captain. It's the prettiest one in the shipment. Boy, she is a beauty. I've been saving months for that baby. Yeah, take it kind of easy, the first 500, will you, Cap? Don't worry, I will. Oh! Hey, look at my new... Come on, come Captain, on. Look. We're sorry, Captain, it was all a mistake. Yeah, he forgot to throw the bucket. Think nothing of him, Cap. We'll have you cleaned up in a jiffy. Take it easy now, fellas. Look what you're doing in the captain's coat. No, it matches his hat. Stop it! Oh, ungrateful, huh? I should have you fired, but you'll keep working here till you pay for this suit. Hey, you, roll those hose lines out. It's over with, and I'll ask the captain to let us off tonight. Yeah, we're invited to Maisie's house to a birthday party. Oh, boy. Plenty of pig's knuckles smothered in garlic. Ha! She's got a couple new girls for us to meet, too. Oh, a blind date, eh? She ain't blind. She may be a little hard of hearing. Yeah. Uh... Come on, get moving here if you want to get out. Quintuplets. Marie? Annette? Yvonne? Hey. What? Don't disturb the rest of them. They're asleep. <laughs> Come on, if that captain sees us, we're through. Roll them up and get them hid. Hurry up now.
Here's my roll. Hmm. Got any more in your hands? No. Oh! 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 Ah! I'm caught! Oh! Oh! Isn't it pretty, girls? Gee, it's oh. swell. Let's eat. Oh, I, I wonder why Carolina's friends haven't shown up. It's me. I'm a Jonah. I guess the only way I can get a man to come to see me is to call a doctor. Come in. <laughs> Happy birthday, Maisie. <laughs> Hello, girly. Curly, this is Mimi, and this is Minnie. Hiya, Mimi. Hiya, Minnie. I'm Minnie. I'm Mimi. I'm hungry. Well, sit down. Take a load off your feet. It ain't my feet that hurt. Maybe they can sneak out. Yeah, get me a boyfriend. Oh, all right, Hercules. I'll call. Where's the phone? Right here. Hello? Yes? Yes? Yes, yes? Have you got him? The well, line's busy. Busy? Yeah, I'm talking. Hey. 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 Don't you hear that bell? What? You're gonna start that again? Yeah. It's a fire! It's the phone. Get out of here. Hello. Hello, Mo. You better come right over. You're missing one of the biggest things of your life. We'll be right over. The next time we're off duty. Hi, Cap. I said we can't come over. Oh. A coward, huh? Well, what'd they say? They can't come. Aw, oh, gee. Won't you be my boyfriend? You'll like me after we get acquainted. I grow on people. So do warts. <laughs> the old man's gone. I'm going anyhow. Oh! You ain't going anywhere. Come on. Wait a minute. Let me explain to you. Get in there. Go on. Now, so I don't get tempted, I'm going to stay in here with you. What's the idea? Give me that key. You really want it? Yeah. Oh! Oh, a wise guy. I got a good mind to make you go down that pipe after it. How would I get in there? How? Wait! Uh, Emily Clarence! Wait! Uh, oh! oh I my, God. Fit. my head! Come on, Pudgy, you be my fella. Stop, cut it out. I can't cut it out! The bike they came! Get out. I'll 
Ah, uh, come on, let's roll. Uh, ready? Yeah. Heave! Ho! Ah! Oh, where am I? Help me! Oh! Oh! Come on up out of there! Come on, you... Why don't you cut out playing hide-and-seek with me? Hey, they're going without us again. Come on, we'll get in the captain's car. Come on. We gotta save our jobs. Come on. Is there any gas in the tank? The arrow point's halfway. I don't know if it's half empty or half full. Yeah, we... See that? What? Oh! Why, the switch is off. I don't give this new car so much. Yeah, you better take a shortcut if you want to beat the captain. What's the matter? <laughs> Where's the fire? Right here. She's already got me burnt up. Oh, is this my boyfriend? And he's got a car. Come on, girls. Let's go places and eat things. I may lose. I got you out, didn't I? <laughs> no fire, eh? <laughs> See that? He ain't got time. Here comes the captain. Captain, come on. We gotta beat him back to the firehouse. Don't crowd out. Yeah, Take your time. There's plenty of room for everybody. <laughs> Why don't you sit still? I lost my cigar. Well, forget about your cigar. I can't. It's lit. Oh, right. right. It might oh. be under me. What is that? <laughs> Cut it out. Cut it out now. Come on. Get it. Guess who this is? Wait a minute. Don't tell me. I'll get it in a minute. <laughs> Why don't you mind your own business? This is my business. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. You want to be ignorant like you? Give me the wheel, will you? Are you going to drive or am I going to drive? All right, you drive. Go ahead. That's enough. Now I'll take it. <laughs> I should have been killed. Help! 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 Hey, what was that? That's the other five people who were with me, but I can't find them. Help! 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 Come in. I'm sorry, there's no more room. Come on, get out. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We're going to do it first. Wait, wait. Give me a hand, Come on, let me take this. Help me with this midget, will you? I got it. Help me out. Take it easy. Oh. Oh. Let me out. Come on, girls. I don't like firemen. Neither do I. See that? Yeah. Oh. Come on, I gotta get that car straightened out. Oh! Come on now. Back and right. Oh. Hold it now while I get around. That's that. Now come on, get her out into the street. Push. Come on, push. Huh?
Brains can't do anything right, can you? Get up over here. Come on. Get over there. You come over here. Now, get to work. Just a second. Let me have that wrench. Let me have it, you imbeciles. Oh, 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 oh. Say that again. My! No, no. Ain't she pretty? Shut up. You said I could! Shut up, we're on the air. Mm -hmm. Boss, I was just starting to put the... I know, I know. There's a radiator, and look, there's a piece of pipe. But the radiator ain't no good unless it's connected with the pipe. Not one itty, itty, bitty good. You jackheads! Get busy and finish this job! We ain't got enough stuff. Well, go get it! Here's your recording, Miss Andrews, and very nice, too. Thank you. I'll see that Mrs. Bixby hears this record, and I hope she'll hire you for her program. But I still can't understand why you won't audition for her in person. Mr. Allen, my name isn't really Andrews. It's Van Doren, and I know Mrs. Bixby very well. And so, you see, I couldn't possibly audition for her in person, could I? I don't get it. Well, you see, my father doesn't approve of my being a radio singer, so I have to do it under an assumed name. Well, I follow you so far. Well, if Mrs. Bixby hires me, my father can't object because she's an old family friend. That's simple enough, isn't it? Oh, sure, sure. Simple like radar. Uh -huh. I'll do my best to get the job for you, Miss Andrews. Oh, thank you, Mr. Allen. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mo. It was an accident. I know, fellas. Accidents will happen. Sure. Now you take this wrench. I don't want it. Oh, oh. 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 Marcy, I did. Oh. Oh. I'll make Potter on that. Leave me alone. Let's see. Tell me what's going on here. Pick up that stuff and get to work. So help me, this your last. Oh. <laughs> Right on the head. Oh. No! I'm 
gonna cut you all in little pieces. Us! You're breaking my glass. You're breaking my violin. I'm gonna get you hands off. Skulls, I'm broadcasting. <laughs> Use Gritto, radio friends. The soap that gives your hands that dishpan look. How will the old man know you've been working if your hands don't have that dishpan look? Hmm? <laughs> Put a box of Gritto in a glass of water, then listen to it fizz. <clears throat> Dopes. Remember, Gritto, spelled sideways, is Atrag. <clears throat> and now Gritto's own story of Sandra Sandpile, and here's mud in your eye. Music. Hark, who is that stepping off the boulevard down by the chicken house? Tis she. I shall seize her and tie her to the tracks. And she... <laughs> Mrs. Bixby. Good afternoon. I wish to audition a singer. Will you tell Mr. Allen that I'm here? He got word for you to go to Studio B and he will join you there. Very well. I enjoyed your singing so much. I'm Mrs. Bixby. Mr. Allen told me he had a wonderful new personality for my crispy, crunchy program. He was so right. <laughs> it's agreed, then. You'll work for me. I have the contracts right here. Now, just a minute, lady. I won't haggle. I'll double the amount of money. Well, I don't know. Money? Did you say money? I remember the stuff. What do we do? What do we sign? Give me those contracts. <clears throat> Senorita Cucaracha, you sign right here. Oh, I just remembered. I'm having a few guests in tonight for a musical party. You must come and sing for them. Oh, well, now, that's a problem. Uh... I'll pay you $500 if you come. $500? Who do we have to moiter? We'll be there with bells on. Splendid. How am I going to sing at the party? The same way as you did here. Oh, what a marvelous voice. Thank you. Not you. Come on, we got to go shopping. you got to look nice at the party. Come on. Good evening, gentlemen. Good, Good evening, evening, Jeeves. Just a minute, we came with a lady. Oh, pardon. Quite a shack, this Bixby joint. Yeah, it reminds me of the reform school. Jeeves, what time do they serve cocktails? <clears throat> so happy to have you here. My dear, would you care to go to the powder room? Oh, no, no, she always looks like that. Oh, well, then come meet my guests. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I have the honor of presenting the great artists, Senorita Cucaracha, Senor Mucho, and Senor Gusto. What is it, Alice? Father, I'm sure I know those men. Ah, Senorita, I am thrilled. I'm going to tickle myself. <laughs> hey, look who's here. We better get out of here if he spots us, we're cooked. Come on. 
Oh, Mrs. Bixby, I'm so sorry I'm late. I meet uh, some crazy people. They boss my fiddle. They boss my glasses. Mrs. Bixby, you will excuse me. I cannot play my fiddle. I can sing instead, huh? Oh, of course. We should be glad to have you sing, senor. Look at my glasses, all broke. It's a good thing he ain't got his glasses. Maybe he won't know us. I'm sorry about your glasses, senor. Would you care to sing now? Delighted. <laughs> Muslin in on our territory. We gotta do something to stop them. I got it, fellas. Here. All right, I want some more, please. Okay, kid. Very small. Want some more, please. I don't need quit. Let's give him a salvo. Thank you. Cherries, huh? See how you like them, West Guy. See how you like them. Swell. Now we got a clear field. All we got to do is knock them dead with your song and we're in. Just be careful of that record. Nothing's going to happen to it. Well, it might get broke. Not with me handling it. Just be careful. Shut up. <laughs> with me handling a record, nothing to... Uh -huh. Look what you did. Now we're cooked. No, we ain't. Look, there's a lot of records. You're getting a half a brain in your skull now, huh? Sextet from Lucy. Can you sing it? I can't even see it. Oh, I'll go on. Get set. Say, do you know Sextet from Lucy? No, it. I wrote it. Oh, short eyeballs, eh? <clears throat> Senorita's lost a voice. What is it, laryngitis? No, oh, fallen arches. Say, I wonder who double crossed us with that record. I don't know who did, but I want to get out of here. Quiet. You lost your voice. Where? Shut up. Hey, I got a great idea. We better get out of here. Wait. Why did you take my record from the broadcasting station? 
I wanted that job, and you spoil my chances of getting it. Now, the least thing you can do is to go through with it. I want to prove something to my father. How can we? My voice, I mean, your voice is broken. No, it isn't. It's as good as new. Listen. Oh, my dear, you were wonderful. You'll sing for us now, won't you? Of course she will, won't you? I'll do that number you did at the broadcasting station this afternoon. Play Voices of Spring. This way, senorita. All set? I was good enough to get a job, Father. And you are, dear. You're still going to sing on my program. Did I say she had a fine voice? As for these imposters... Oh, 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 this morning. How is he? Did I come here to nurse a patient or that silly looking tree he has in there? Well, that's a rare tree and worrying about it has brought on his nervous breakdown. Hmm, well, I shouldn't wonder. I've been running errands for it all morning. Give it a drink, give it some air, put it in the sun, take it out of the sun. Just be patient. I'm going to call a doctor. You'd better get six doctors. My feet are killing me. Nurse! Winthrop, I... A fine gardener you are. Look at that tree. The only puckerless persimmon in the country, and you're letting it die. But I didn't... <coughs> Shut up! Say something! <coughs> Phone for the tree surgeons at once. Get out! Yes, yes, sir. And when they come, you can go. You're fired! <coughs> Nurse! Ready, Doctor? Hey! 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 How about it, Doc? I don't like the sound of its bark.
What's this? Oh, just a little thing I picked up to make big trees on little saps. Don't look at me. on Sunset Boulevard, we have a sick tree over here. Well, you won't have it long. We'll be right over. A patient! A patient! A patient. <laughs> What's the idea of packing a phone? In case we get a call while we're gone. You imbecile. I... Answer that. up the joint. Hmm, we'll even burn up the trimmings. Come on. We gotta go. Oh. Nurse! Nurse! Well, what about it? Looks like Aphis. Aphis. Aphis! Oh! Stop well. it! Stop it! What about this? We'll have to operate. Operate? But, Doctor, you can't operate here. Are you gonna tell us our business? Ask her to leave. Outside. All right, come on, lady. Outside led to the operation. Oh, they're going to operate. Operate? This is a plain case of dry rot. Cut off that limb. I've got to cut off his leg. You're not going to cut off any limb. Put that saw down. Sit down. We know our business. Hold him. Cut off that limb. Nurse! Oh! Oh, stop it! Stop it! That's one of them. What about the other one? <gasps> you vandals, you've ruined my persimmon tree. I've waited 15 years for it to bear fruit. You have? Where's its mate? Mate? It has no mate. It's the only one like it in the country. You ain't gonna get anywhere with a single tree. This poor thing is pining away for a girlfriend. Or well, maybe a boyfriend. Quiet. Are you sure? Certainly. Gentlemen, if you find me a mate for it, I'll pay you $10,000. We're on our way. Where is it? On the Isle of Rum Boogie. Rum Boogie. Boogie. Woogie. Boogie. Woogie. Woogie. Boogie. 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 Keep bailing. She's sinking. Land ahoy. Ahoy land. We made it. Pull her up. 
Hold what you got there. 4,000 miles and I rode every step of the way. Where's Curly? I don't know. He told me last night he had a date with a mermaid. Maybe they eloped. Yeah, maybe they... What? He must be here already. Here's his hat. Go on, see if he can pick up his footprints. Hurry up. Hey, Mo, I'm picking him up. Keep going, bloodhound. See where they lead. Hush! Hush! Uh -huh. Hiya, Snowflake. No, Snowflake. Kingfisher! Oh, he's the kingfish. I know Amos. I know Andy. Hi, Amos. Hi, Andy. How's lightning? I don't know, but I think it's going to strike any minute. Yes, hallelujah. hallelujah. Boy, that was a close shave. I'll say. What are you grunting about? That ain't me. You... you uh... Call him King. Bow King. <laughs> Listen, King. I, I... Oh, Doctor Deadrock, I presume. Don't they have large monkeys in this part of the country? <laughs> What do you mean, monkey, you scissor bill? What are you doing in that outfit? Had a dice game with the king. With my dice. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, hiya, king. Unk, you cheat. Every time natural. That's a coincidence. Listen, Chiefy, we came down here to get the Puckalus persimmon tree. Stranger want tree? Marry my sister. Okay, Chiefy. Man want marry you. You like? No like. Me like that one. <laughs> we marry now? Oh, no, not that. Oh! Oh! There's an ideal couple if I ever saw one. Good, good. He married girl, get second tree. Where do we come in? In the stew. Roast stewed. <laughs> this is all your fault, you pudding head. If it wasn't for you, he wouldn't have been in this spot. You've got to get us out of this, you hear? Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. You can't eat me. I'm too tough. I'll give you indigestion. <laughs> Marry me, and he won't cook you. Say yes now, or I'll strangle you. It's still no. Go ahead, boy. Make him stew. Shot reel. Pork chops. <laughs> Don't do that. I'm ticklish. <laughs> stew bone. Soup bone.
the tree. Where is it? In the alley, got it. In the alley? No! Oh. Now, listen, you lost it. You get it. Get it? Did you see him yawn? You got nothing to worry about. We'll tickle the stomach. That'll make him as helpless as a baby. Come on, start tickling. All right, get it. No tricks now. I'll make a suitcase out of you. Wait a minute. I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, I... Hurry up. <laughs> that might have been my arm. Oh, tough, eh? Hmm? I'll fix him. Out of my way. I'll hold his upper jaw. You put your foot on his lower. Uh, I'd better take the upper. I'll take a compartment. Quiet. You'll take the lower and like it. I'll take the lower, but I won't like it. Mm. All right. Now? Yeah, put your foot in his mouth. All right, Ironhead. Go on and get it. Mm. Hurry up. This belt is slipping. Mm. You got it? I don't know whether it's the tree or his pencils. Well, bring it out in the open. Mm. Hurry up. Mm. I got it. Give it to me. Uh, oh, oh, oh. What's the matter, kid? I lost the end of my shoe. The end of a shoe ain't important. Well, this one is. I think it had my toes in it. Why, you... Forever. Me too. We've been digging for six months and all I got is blisters. I'm still getting blisters. There goes our last tire. We ought to trade this car in next year. Yeah. I hope it lasts till we get home. Home sweet home. I can hardly wait. Gee, the old neighborhood still looks the same. Hey, here's our house. Turn in quick. Bring the key. The car ain't insured. Got the key? Yeah. Good. How do you like that? Somebody living in our house. Let's throw him out. Come on. Hey. What's the idea of moving into our apartment? Come on, beat it. I'm sorry, mister. Sis and I didn't know anyone lived here, so we just moved in. But we'll get out right away. Hey, where's your father? We ain't got no father. Just sis and I. Wait a minute, son. We made a mistake. This ain't our house. We didn't have any curtains. Go on, sit down and do your homework. Oh, thank you. Take it easy. There we are. I'm stuck. How much is six and six? Well, uh, hey, you help him. Six and six? Uh-huh. Don't tell me. Two sixes. Hmm! Box cars. Box cars? Yeah, it looks like two lumps of sugar with smallpox. You throw it up Hey, hey wait a minute. What are you trying to line the kid? 
Come on, we got places to go. Get going. What's the matter with you? It's him. He's on a sit-down strike. We gotta get some tires. Tires? Where? Right here, where we got the car. Oh. Go. Oh. There's one. Get it out. up in cans? Well, they don't. Sure, see? Can coin. Why are we prospecting up in the hills when there's gold mine right in our own backyard? Certainly. What are we waiting for? We'll start right here. Come on. What's the idea? Hit me with tin cans. Oh, I didn't do it. Did you? Oh! Hey, what are you doing here? This is our claim. Oh, we didn't mean to disturb anything, but we had $62 hidden in a tin can, and now it's gone. Money we were saving for my leg operation. You see, if we could get Jimmy's leg fixed up, then he could walk like other boys. There's your money, lady. We didn't know. Oh, gee, thanks. Look, Jimmy. Oh, you don't know what this means to us. When are you going to have the operation done? As soon as we get five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars? Hmm, that's almost a million. What do you leave your money laying around in cans for? Why don't you put it in the bank? Will the bank give it back to us? Oh, sure. They didn't used to, but now they do. And when you take it out, they give you some more. I had a dollar once. That's enough. We'll put the money in the bank for you, lady. And then all you have to do is wait till it grows to 500. Oh, gee, thank you very much. Come on, General, we got banking to do. Give her a twist. Switch on. Switch on. Get under it. Grab that motor. I'll get it. Don't worry. <laughs> Why didn't you catch it? There's 62 bucks there. How long do we have to wait before it swells to 500? 62 dollars? Yes, sir. That'll take you 104 years, six months, and 17 days. Oh, we can't wait that long. Why not? Time marches on. That guy won't cash this check. Never mind. I think I see some easy money. Right. Let's give him the business. We can't do business with you. Let's try another bank. Sure. Mm. Oh, you uh, like? Pardon me, gentlemen. How would you like to get in on a deal where you can make thousands? That ain't enough. We gotta make $500. Go on, stranger. You strangely interest me. Now, I have a house. Yes, sir. And I, I know that you... This is the house I was telling you about, boys. 
There's a treasure in it. It was buried by Captain Kidd's kid. No kidding. That's right. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Just a minute. It'll cost you $200 for the privilege of digging it up. $200? $200 or nothing. Well, we'll take it for nothing. Yeah. Now, we got $62 here. How would that do? Throw in the car and it's a deal. That money belongs to the boy. Oh, I know, but we're investing it for him, ain't we? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a deal. Get the tools. Go ahead. Say, how will we know where to dig? Oh, uh, why, uh, give him the map. Oh, yes, I almost forgot. Here, follow that map and you can't go wrong. Thanks. Oh, I'll come. So long, chumps. Chumps? <laughs> you don't even know our names. Come on, we got to get that 500 for the kid. Come on. Oh. oh. Hey, somebody beat us to the furniture. Let the finance company worry about that. Hey, where do we start? Right here. Give me the tool. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, stop dancing. We got work to do. Where's the map? Right here. Well. Walla Walla with an X. I got it. X marks the spot where the treasure is buried. It's in the Walla. But there's two Wallas. Certainly. There's a Walla, and there's a Walla over there. Which one's it buried in? It don't make any difference. We'll each take a Walla. Come on. <laughs> One at a time. Keep cool. the idea of pulling the building down. I found part of the treasure. See? Where? There. Right now. Get that big bucket down here. Down here? But I ain't down there. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. What's the big idea? I just dropped in. Well, if we knew you was coming, we'd have baked the cake. What's the matter with you, Al? <clears throat> How do you like that? Get busy. Oh, shut up. Take this shovel. Remember, we got to get the money for the kid. Now get busy. 
It's an eye. Yeah, an eye for an eye. Get out. And, and a tooth for a tooth? Certainly. Get away from here. Now get busy. Oh. Oh. What's going on here? <laughs> the idea is to get the dirt out of the hole. Oh. Now get shoveling. Wait a minute. We gotta dig a hole to put that dirt into. Get your pick. Here's one for you. Now, we'll start right there. Go ahead. Look, another wallet. A concrete one. Now we got a blast. Get a chisel and mallet. Hey, look out. You want to get hurt? Get over there. What? Oh! Remind me to kill you later. I'll make a note of it. I ain't got a pencil. Well, I changed my mind. I'm going to do it now. Oh, oh! Grab that chisel, chiseler. Oh. I'll do the whacking around here. Mm. Put it up there. Hey, what's that noise? Oh, that's from next door. Some guy's rebuilding a house. Oh. It's through. All right, get the dynamite. Oh, boy, I like firecrackers. Hurry up. <laughs> what's the matter with you? You want to blow us all up? Light her up. <laughs> hey, we better get out of here. Yeah. How you going to get out of here? Hey, the rope. Hey, hey, let me out. Hey, out of the way. Out of the way. Get off of me. Hey. The rest is profit. First. What wallet did you come through? Claim jumpers. You'll get life for breaking in the United States Treasury. Treasury? It said Walla Walla on the map. Stay him up! Oh! Oh! Get him out! I'm sorry, gentlemen, but the Senate subcommittee will have to wait. The president is in conference. Yes, sir. And when they told us the money was yours, you could have knocked us down with a gold bar. 
And that's the whole story, Mr. President. So help me. I see. Well, Jimmy, I shall arrange personally for your operation. Thank you, Mr. President. And as for you, gentlemen, in view of the extenuating circumstances, I find it possible to extend to you executive clemency. Oh, no, please, not that. Oh! Mr. President means we're free. No, yes. Gee, Mr. President, you're a swell guy. You said it. It's going through that skull. Hey, what's eating you? Mosquito, I can't sleep. Well, lay down or I'll put you to sleep. Come oh. on. Oh. What's the matter, you nuts? I, Get I, down. I saw it again. I'll murder you, I tell you. I'll murder oh. you. Lay down. Right down, you guys. You're spoiling the whole war for me. What of it? Nothing, I was just saying. Then go back to sleep and keep quiet. That's great news, Major. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Cease firing. The war is over. The war is over. Oh, boy. Hooray! Hooray! Well, I'll be... It's only you, Sarge. So, you're still yellow. Not me. I'm in the pink. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. No, you're in the black. Oh! 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 those guns, you blooming idiots! We can enjoy this war if it wasn't for you. Yeah, well, it's too late now. The war is over. They're calling it off. Viva la France! Bon sour, Masur. Bon sour, Masur. Mazel tov. L'chaim. Mazel tov. Get out of here. I'll give you a whack. I'll knock your brain. Oi! Oh! 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 Rabbit. All right, all right. You mug. Never mind him. We're going home. Whoop, home. Whoop, 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 whoop. Whoopee! Hooray! Home! Yeah! Lafayette, we have come. Oh, but it's oh. 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 Hiya, Sarge. Thanks, pal. For what? For this. And this. And this. <laughs> Thanking me for beating you up? Sure. They decorated us. They thought we were wounded in action. Look. Say, this discharge means we're through, don't it? Yeah. And we don't have to take any more orders from you? That's right. So what? That's all we wanted to know. No hard feelings, is there, Sarge? No. <laughs> Get, oh! it Get it up, oh! boys. Get it up. Get it up. Hey! I'll let you out in a minute. Oh, I'm not ah. for this. Oh, 
Ah, oh, Sergey, break arms, eh? Oh. Peeling potatoes, eh? Oh. Step aside, washing the floors, eh? Oh. Blacking people's eyes, eh? Oh, oh tough guy, huh? Oh, boy, look at this. Look at this. Some people have all the luck. Boy, can I tear that chicken to smithereenies. Two cents. Well, I raised my price. Oh, listen, mister. We don't mean any harm. We're hungry. Do you know where we can get a job? Why, you've got your... I'm sorry I lost my temper. <laughs> Go in the building, boys, up to room 310 and ask for Burke. They're looking for men. Just say you want to sign up. Oh, you're a regular fella after all. Yeah. And if you want to, you can smack me again. Yeah. Oh! By golly, he did it. Sure, come right in. Take a Ramos, take off your hat. A man downstairs said you can use some men. You want to sign up? Certainly. What do you think we're here for? Sign right here. It's a pleasure. Oh, a job at last. What are you going to do with all the money? Hey, I think there's something screwy going on around here. Every time you think you're weak in the nation. Sign. But, 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 go on, Santa, crack your head up. Go on, go on. Oh. Take these over to Port Stinger. You mean those papers we signed were to join the army? Of course. You're in the army now. Oh, no. We quit. <laughs> well, as I live, I'm seeing things. Three of them. Boys, you remember Sergeant McGillicuddy? Yeah, his mother and my mother are both mothers. <laughs> now they helped us win the war. Sergeant, take these men over to Fort Stinger. They're in your charge. With pleasure. You wanted a job, huh? Yeah. What's the matter with you? You, bus cars wasn't good enough for you, was it? I don't know. I'm a stowaway. Well, stow this away. Oh. Leave him alone, will you? I'll leave him alone. I'll get there. Oh. Oh. Get it. Oh. Break it up! Break it up! Come on, boys. I kind of forgot myself for a minute, Joe. Medical exam? Okay. Thank you, sir. Here we are, bosom friends again. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, Sarge, you're a pal. <laughs> Sit down. Listen, Sarge, you're gonna let bygones be bygones, ain't you? Sure, sure. Get on with that trough. 
What are you gonna do? I'm gonna give you the detonation test. Detonation? If I got it, can I get cured? Yeah. It's a test to see if your eardrums will stand the shooting of the big guns. That's a new one on me. Yeah, I just thought of it. Now, when I say go, duck your heads under that water and hold it. For how long? I'll tell you when to come up. Get ready. Ready? Go! Soldiers for the Coast Artillery wouldn't know a shell from a boat. What? He says you smell like a goat. Oh, yeah? Thanks. The same to you. Remember your place. <laughs> What's wrong with you men? We're hungry. We ain't eaten in a week. Oh, that's it. Sergeant, get these men some food. Yes, sir. Now to continue. Were you born in this country? What? Were you born in this country? No, Milwaukee. Would you fight for this great republic and... Republican? No, I'm a Democrat. Not me. I'm a pedestrian. Oh. Oh. This is all I can find, sir. See what you can do with these men. I give up. Tomatoes! Throw them away, I say! And but, what? But, this is an outrage! Hi, General. Hey, uh, if you clean enough of those loving cups, you can expect a rate in the army. Get oh! Oh! Where's Larry? Here I am. Attention! Oh! No! Oh! No! Number 41G Heavy Ordnance Gunnery Practice. Gun crew 6, 7, and 8 in order name will fire on obsolete radio controlled cruiser, which will pass fort at 5,000 yards. Crew making best record of hits will receive citation and two weeks' leave of absence. Take your post! Go to the powder tunnel and bring shells and powder as fast as you can, and no slip ups. Hurry up! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I understand. Target practice postponed until arrival of Admiral Hawkins flagship on inspection crews. Dismiss the crew. All in. Target practice postponed. Right, face forward, march. Admiral Hawkins flagship is steaming up the bay for maneuvers, sir. You. Just what tears are, tears cry like you made me. Uh, here we are, boys, here we are. Where's the sun? 
sergeant and the gun crew. Maybe it's between halves. Hold that. Oh, thanks. Come on, get out of here. Come on, get busy. Ready? What up? Shell went in there. Then it goes around and around. Whoa, 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 and it goes out there. Hey, fellas, look! That's the boat we're supposed to use for a target. What'll we do? Target? I don't see no bull's eye on it. We'll take the bull by the horns and fire it ourselves. Come on, I know how to cock a cannon. Right, 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 right. Everything all right? Right. right. Oh, right. Forty by fifty range, got that? Pass it. Easy now. Gun range okay. Gun range okay. Gun range okay. Hey, I wonder what this is. I don't know. I'll pull it and find out. Okay. Who fired that gun? I don't know, sir. Come on, hurry! It went off! Yeah, but you missed the boat. Reload! And the guns! Longitude by five! Latitude right! Latitude. You're going the wrong way! Right! Left! Take it right! Left! Don't get it wrong! Left! Latitude right! Left! You're going the wrong way! Right! flagship. Why did you hit the Admiral's flagship? I see my duty and I did it. Well, I see my duty and I'll do it. See that? Maybe he's going to take our picture. Maybe he is at that. He will... Come 
on. We're going upstairs and kill those guys. They've been ruining our rehearsals. Let's go. You said it. Why, I'll get up there and I'll get oh! the women to... No. See that? Oh! <laughs> See that? Go on. Oh! Come on. Oh! This is it. I'll show those mugs. Let me at them. Quiet, I'll handle this. I'll break their necks. I'll bash their noses in. And if there's a big muscular guy in there, you handle them. <laughs> Come on. Number. I wonder what the name of it is. I to break your neck. Oh, oh yeah? Wait a minute. That's before we saw you. You see, we live in the room below. We was rehearsing our act, but you were dancing, and... The chandelier hit me in the head. Oh, what an awful lump. <laughs> that's no lump. That's my head. <laughs> oh, we're sorry. I'm glad. Otherwise, we wouldn't have met. Ha-ha. <laughs> I'm Mo. I'm Larry. I'm Curly. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Mo, Larry, and Curly meet Flo, Mary, and Shirley. Well, well hi, Mary. Mary. Hi. Oh, boy! Someone's going to get married. I hope. <laughs> so you boys are actors. What kind of an act do you do? Oh, it's sort of a kind of our own like. It's very dramatic. Yeah, there's a lot of talk goes on ahead. But there's one spot that has to be timed just right. It's the most important thing in the act. We'll show you. Come on, boys. Start on page nine. Page nine. Ah, slowly we turned, step by step, inch by inch. You numbskull. Yeah, if we ever get past that inch by inch line, maybe the sack would be something. What are you sitting in there for? So it shouldn't be a top loss. I'm taking a bet. A bet? Yeah. Move over. Yeah. And I'll take a bit. Get on the other side. Oh, man. Give me the soap, kid. I got it. <laughs> here, 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 here. Give me the other brush. Oh, oh, loosely. Oh. Come on over here. Let's get my back 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 here. back, not the head, the back. We didn't come to borrow any money. We didn't come to borrow any dough. We didn't come to borrow any trouble. We just dropped in to say hello. Oh, oh, hello to you, Mr. Penny. Please don't think that we are hammy. We just dropped in from Alabama. We just dropped in to say hello. Oh, boy, you said it. We, we just dropped in to say hello. And don't forget it. We, we just dropped in to say hello. And I'm... <laughs> Hello! Hello! Goodbye. Now, don't be hasty, Mr. Manny. The best is yet to come. 
This is a sad, sad story Of a boy in all his glory He could Ratatouille, 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 Day, Ratatouille, Day, 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 Default invasion. Spread out. Now comes the climax. Aha! Slowly I turn. Step by step. Inch by inch. I like that. I fought down. <laughs> you idiot, you. Now you have to grab the axe. I couldn't help it, I slit. Mm-hmm. Look, we're sorry, Mr. Manny. No, no. Why, you... See that? Hey, you, I'll strike you. Don't do that. Hey, break it up, break it up. We're sorry, Mr. Weeks. You see, every time this Mr. dummy... Mr. Weeks, your show goes on a half an hour at the shipyards. We'll have to hurry if we're going to make it. Thank you. Call my car. I'll be right with you. Yes, sir. Sorry, boys. I have to hurry down to the shipyards. Better see me some other time. Say, Mr. Weeks, why can't we go into that show of yours at the shipyard? We'll slay him. Yeah, we'll kill him. We'll annihilate him. Okay, I'll give you a chance. But you better be good. Okay. We're on our way to the shipyards. Thanks. Uh -huh. Oh, boy! Shipyard special... What? <laughs> Pal, you call me pal? Why, I haven't heard that word for years. You know, Bub, I was once a tramp like you. Oh, congratulations! Ah, but it wasn't always thus. I can look back to the days of yore when I was a very happy married man. And one day that rat came and destroyed forever all the happiness I'd ever known. I'll never forget that day. I just came home from the graveyard shift, and there was the note on a pillow. What did it say? Oh, it was one of those cold-blooded notes. Dear Mo, I'm running away with Larry. I was obsessed with the idea that I must find him. The trail led me to Pittsburgh. I found that I'd missed him by three days when I got there, and I swore right there in Pittsburgh I'd find him and have my revenge. Now, on went the chase. Miami, Dallas, New Orleans. And then I came face to face with a rat that had ruined my life. It was in Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls! Slowly I turned, and step by step, inch by inch, I walked up to him and I smashed him. I hit him. I knocked him. I hit him. I hit him to pieces and I knocked him down. Oh! No, oh, take it easy, boy. Take it easy. Excuse me, kid. It's that word Niagara Falls. Every time I hear it, it tears me apart. Don't do me any good either. Ungrateful, that's what it is. How do you like a guy like that? I say hello, pal, sort of friendly, and just because I say Niagara Falls... Niagara Falls! <laughs> Slowly I turn. Please, no. And step by step. Inch by inch. No, please, no. I step by step. I step And I knock oh. Oh. Oh, take it easy, pal. Please, take it easy now. Oh, it's that woman. I'll kill her and him. Blood? Yeah, yeah! 
rivers of blood, pools of blood. <laughs> the blood. <laughs> Pardon me, pal. Did you call me pal? Yeah. Uh, it's been a long time since I heard the word pal. You too? Haven't you got any friends either? That's what I was coming to, the dirty rat. He tried to take her away from me. Ah, but he couldn't get away with it. So he trailed me. To Pittsburgh? Yes. Uh, and then you went to Miami, New Orleans, and Dallas? Yes, yes. Uh, uh, uh. Well, how did you know? Don't be surprised. No, 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 no. Then he caught you in Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls! <laughs> Slowly I turned. Please. Step by step. Not that, no. Don't. Inch by inch. Oh. I picked him up. No, no, no. I him. Oh. There, there, there. Oh. I ripped his shirt. And then I knocked him down. Oh. What have I done? Blood. The judge. Blood! You! Ah, oh, there you are, Larry. Why, you? Hi. Hi, pal. <laughs> I almost caught up with you in Pittsburgh. Go ahead. Tell them where you found them. Forget it. It's past history. Why, you cowards? You're afraid to say Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls! <laughs> Slowly I turn. In stallion, I step. Inch by inch, we rush up here. You swear? They certainly were. Boy, they were terrific. Mr. Weeks, this wire just arrived. It's very important. Car broke down, unable to make show today. Sorry. Castro Neural Review. Well, Mr. Weeks, what do you say? Boys, I'm in trouble. My show won't be here today. And how am I going to get some entertainment for these people? Don't worry, we've got plenty of material. We'll all go on. Yeah, we'll dance. Certainly, we'll give them a show. Okay, go to it. Let's go, everybody. Oh. What's the matter with you? Oh, 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 oh.
At ease. Listen, men, I need a volunteer for a dangerous mission. This mission is extremely important, but it's 10 to 1 the volunteer won't come back. Yeah. Now, if there's a man among you that is ready to lay down his life for his country, step forward. Thank you, my boy. Thank you for what, sir? For dying for your country. Never. Now, take this message to Major Stomer. You'll find him on Hill 303. Now, you go through Skeleton Pass over Murder Meadow to Massacre Junction. Then you follow the trail to Poison Creek around Funeral Mountain and head directly for Dead Man's Gulch. Now, saddle a horse and get underway. Yes, sir. If the Colonel had let me, I'd have gone myself. He's off. There he goes. He's in enemy territory. He's crossing no man's land. Look at him ride through a hail of bullets. Oh, no. He's down. They killed him. No, his horse is getting up now. He's up. Look at him ride like the wind. He's right. He's right. He's right. He's right. Hey, fellas, how do you saddle a horse? Ah, uh, boys, you were swell, swell. You're in my new Broadway show. Meet me in my New York office tomorrow. Oh, boy, Broadway, New York. Well, girls, it was nice knowing you. See you again sometime. Oh, yeah? Oh. Get out of the car and find out. I'll go, too. Where are we, dear? Goslow. Goslow? Silly, it says go slow. Hey. What did that sign say? 25 miles to Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls. <laughs> Slowly we turn. Don't do that. No, not that. Step by step. In by inch. <laughs> Okay, would you quit worrying? I'll find him. Something big, boss? Is a hundred grand big? <whistles> Sounds like a mint. What is it? Three mugs have the winning sweepstake tickets worth a hundred thousand bucks. Who are they? I don't know. Uh, two of them are short and funny looking, and the guy who bought the ticket is fat with no hair, and he's got two hearts tattooed on his chest. All we gotta do is find him. And out of 50,000 fat guys, you're gonna find one with two hearts tattooed on his chest. With your help. Patents bought and sold. This is the place. Now remember, no less than a hundred dollars for the invention. Okay. Well, what is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Nothing. 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 See you later. Oh, <laughs> wait a minute. Is the patent man in? Well, that's me. Well, we got a patent we want to sell. A fly catcher. How does it work? Oh, it's simple. That's it's enough. You see, a fly being a nosy animal, he crawls into this little hole, sees the steps, and starts climbing. The kitchen's on the top floor, so he goes up to see what's cooking. <laughs> what? No elevator? Don't be ridiculous. How do you like this dope? That's <laughs> enough. I'll tell this. And when a fly gets to the top, still being dizzy and nosy, he looks down, sees himself in the mirror. Thinking it's another fly, he gets burned up. He thinks this fly's cutting in on his territory. Get it? <laughs> so he jumps down, lands on his stomach, and knocks his brains out. It's a beautiful sight. And simple, isn't it? Very. And a penny a fly, there's millions in it. Well, when you make your first hundred dollars, bring it in, and I'll give you a patent. <gasps> oh, boy. We're in the money.
money. Hey, Brainy, at a penny a fly, how many flies do we have to catch to make a hundred bucks? A hundred thousand? <laughs> What's the matter, little girl? You wouldn't understand with all that money. I'm just a poor little orphan. Nobody loves me and I haven't any food. I love you and they'll get you some food. <laughs> you mean you haven't had anything to eat? No. This morning I went to the cupboard to get my poor self a bone. But when I got there, the cupboard was bare. Not even a bottle was there. <laughs> Go on, get her a bottle. Hey, you know how hard it is to get a bottle these days. Milk, you numbskull. Oh, you get the milk, I'll get the bread. And you? Oh, don't leave me alone. I'll stay with her. Why? Go on. Won't you take your coat off and be comfortable? Won't you sit down? I'm going to rumple your hair. You're such a big, strong man. I'll bet you've got two hearts right here. Oh, I think you've got something there. I think I have. Come on, let me see your heart. No, I don't want to. Oh, let me see. No! Come on. Don't do that! I said don't! Are you hurt? I think I'm stabbed. Oh, look what you did to my knitting needles. It didn't do me any good either. Oh, come on, let's sit down. Now, let's see those hearts. I said no! Another one. Oh, so you have. <laughs> That's it. You hit the bottom. Oh, it must be wonderful to have a hundred thousand. Did you get it yet? Oh, you mean my fly catcher. Certainly, we'll have a hundred thousand flies just like that. Not dollars? No, flies. Why, you double-crosser! <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> Look out, though! <laughs> Get out of here! You see what you did when I get the... throw the water away and hit him with the bucket. trying to do. It wasn't me. All I did was this. 
You shot that guy and killed him, too. Yeah. Come on. What's he doing? Oh, no, I'm gonna die! We better get out of here. <laughs> Wait a minute. We better take him along so they won't know you killed him. <laughs> Give me that rag. It's a bag. Quick, we'll stuff him in it. Hurry up, he's getting stiff. Okay. See the trouble you got us into? <laughs> Pull it all the way up around his neck and hide him good. Boy, is he stiff. Slim just called and he has the guy who won the 100000 Did he get the dough? Yeah, and after he paid his income tax, he had just 12 bucks left. Take it easy now, kid. Come on. Hurry up. We've got to find a place to hide him. Hey, stuff him in that barrel. Ooh. Get him all the way in so nobody can see him. Way down. Hey, what are you guys up to? We couldn't help it. It was an accident, officer. Or suicide. Can't you read that sign? Now take that trash and get out of here. You heard him. Take that trash and get out of here. But that ain't the... Shut up! You heard what the officer said. Take the trash and get out of here. Just trash. Come on with that rubbish guy. Come on. Hey, come back here, you murders! <laughs> This is a place. Everest Pet Cemetery. Do you think he was somebody's pet? What difference does it make? Come on. Go on, go on. Shh. What's the matter? Somebody just ran by me. What did he look like? I couldn't tell. He was running on his hands and knees. Yeah? Yeah, he had a big head and long curls. Wait a minute. Why can't we bury him out in the street? What? And have somebody run over him and kill him again? We're gonna bury him right here. Like this? Yeah, just like that, only on the other side. Where's the body? I ain't got no body. I lost it. Well, you better go find uh, it. Uh, uh. Hello. Hello, Mr. Black. There's prowlers in the cemetery. You better come on over. Oh, but I can't. I'm giving a masquerade party. Yeah. Oh, all right, we'll be right over. Get Joe, there's something wrong at the cemetery. Let's leave the body here. No, sir, you killed him and you're gonna bury him. Oh. oh. I don't see why we have to do that. There he is, you chucklehead. Bring him over here. This is all your fault. <laughs> Did you kick me? No. Well, it's a good thing you didn't, because if you had, I would have... We'll spread out and search the grounds. If you spot anyone, whistle. I 
wonder where that lunkhead is. I don't know and I don't care. All I want to do is get out. There's nothing to be afraid of in here. Everything is dead. I think I see something over there. Come on, follow me. Larry, are you behind me? If you ain't, don't answer me. Here. Never mind that. I saw a big hole over there. Let's bury him first and then we'll get out of here. Pick him up. It was around here someplace. Quick, we'll hide in the hole and maybe we can catch him. Here it is. Throw him in, we'll cover him up. Ah, no, no. I said throw him in and cover him up. I did. I suppose he walked back by himself. Now throw him in. Mm. We'll keep a sharp lookout. Mm. Why don't you make up your mind? Are you a yo-yo? you in the mouth. Come on, get your shovel and cover him up. Hurry up. Hey! hey! What are you yelling about? That wasn't me. Well, we're all set. Ain't love grand? <laughs> yeah, come on, let's get the car. Up, eh? I ought to...
Florabelle. Florabelle. Dorabelle. For the hundredth time, will, will you, you marry, marry us? This is so sudden. You have to ask father. He Mr. Bell, can we marry your... No. Oh. He can't do that to us. Oh. Are you three guys still here? Sure, and we intend to stay until you say yes. Hmm. It's a sit-down strike. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Why, I'll have you thrown out of this house. Is that so? Tell him a few syllables. Whoa! You can't do that to us. We're not interfering with interstate commerce. And we're going to sit right here. <laughs> hey, Mo! Larry! It's got me. It's biting me. Mo! What is it? I think it's an octopus. Yeah. Easy now. <laughs> oh. Wait a minute. <laughs> Sit down, I'll pick it. I tell you not to fish for those pets? But I had two strikes. Well, here's a third one. Oh, 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 oh. You almost put me out. Go get the mail. Thanks. Hey, our fair mail's growing. Oh, mm. boy. Handle it. Here's a real estate company going to give us a lot as soon as we're married. And here's a guy who'll give us a ready-cut house. Boy, a house and lot for nothing. What are we waiting for? For Papa to say yes, pudding head. Oh. But, Governor, they've been sitting in my house for three weeks. You've got to get them out. Oh, he won't do nothing. Well, there's nothing a justice of the peace can do, then. Oh, yes, there is. Furniture. Look, a set of dishes. And here's some silverware. And a baby carriage. <laughs> what do you got? A gas bill. Oh, what's the matter with you? There they are, Sheriff. We ain't done nothing. You can't arrest us. I'm not going to arrest you. I'm going to marry you. We won the strike. Now we can get married. Oh! Hey! Hey! Wait a minute. Hey! Quiet. Who's going to marry who? Why, we're going to... Oh, we never thought of that. Gee. I got an idea. Get those name pins. Pardon me, Justice. Take one. I got Flora Bell. Honey! <laughs> darling! I got Cora Bell. Oh, darling! I get Stetson. Which one is she? Come on, oh. here. There. This is it, driver. You better stop. <laughs> well, here we are. All right, women and children first. Out of the way. Well, there's where your new home's going to be, girls. Where's the carpenters? There ain't any. You build it yourself. No carpenters. Well, we ain't gonna build nothing. We're on our honeymoon. Certainly. I got married so I could retire. But you must build the house first, darling. <laughs> nothing doing. I said we're on our honeymoon. Certainly. 
Ah, oh, now, darling. Tootsie Wootsie. Little Snooky Puss. Oh. Oh. The honeymoon starts when the house is finished. Nothing doing. We're staying right here. I'll bring him down. Ah. Hey, not that! <laughs> now you snap out of it and get to work. But we was going down to... You start a fire for breakfast while we go to the store. Get going! Oh! Oh, oh, I oh, did it! Oh, he did it. Strike me, oh. would you? Oh, oh wait, you you brute! Now go on out and get a board so we can prop this up. Okay. Hurry up. Oh, 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 oh. What'd you let go for? Hurry up with that board. You've been at it all morning. There's nothing ready cut about these houses. Every board is too long. If that pudding head hadn't have burned up the plans, we'd have saved plenty of work. A big idea. Somebody hit me on the head with a keg of nails. When I came to, here I was. I knew I missed a keg of nails. But it didn't miss me. Hey, fellas, come on, help me get out of here, will Don't you? Don't worry, we'll have that stuff off you in a jiffy. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Not over there now. I got a corner on that side. Who's doing this? Yeah, that stuff's too hard. Try this. That's an idea. <laughs> Look out for my corn now. Oh, it's my foot. What are you yelping about? I had to say it was true, didn't I? Get the dynamite. I knew we'd have to use it for something. Dynamite? Hey, you're not going to blast. What would you do? I'd blast. That didn't hurt, did it? I don't know. My foot's asleep. Here. What's the idea? One stick in each block's enough. Listen, I don't want to butt in, but don't you think half a stick is enough? No. You've got nothing to worry about. Besides, dynamite always blows down. 
Oh, I didn't know that. Have you out of these like that? Come on, get behind the lumber pile. You better hurry. See you later. He was right. A half a stick would have been plenty. Yeah, gee, he was a swell guy. You know, I think I'll let him keep that dollar he owes us. Have you nothing to do but play with firecrackers? Where's Carly? Well, it started with the cement. Hey, Mo! Hey, Larry! Hey, Mo! Hey, Larry! Here I am! Come get me! There he is! Forget what I said about that dollar. Come and get me! Here we come! Tarzan. I can't. I'll get you down. Look out now. Look out. Oh. Oh. Doorbell, are you hurt? Doorbell. Oh. How are you? Hey, get some water, quick. Look. Look at Doorbell. Oh. Come here. Look at her. Say something. Say something. Not much, but say something. Look at me, it's curly. I fell down too, but I'm walking now. Hurry up with that water. Woo. Look, she's coming too. Oh. Oh, I didn't mean it hard, but honestly, I didn't... Look what you did. What's the idea? Hit my sister-in-law with cement. Whoa. What'd you hit my brother-in-law for? We catch our own fish and it don't cost us nothing. Aye. And you nearly talked us into buying ice just to put on the fish. Oh, quit squawking. Let me peddle my fish. Fresh fish! Fresh fish! Seafood mama! Fresh fish! Here they are, right off the ocean. Uh, How do you do, madam? Do you have a haddock? No, I don't have no haddock. But I get a little attached. 
pack there every time I eat too much. What kind of a fish is that? Toppin. Toppin? That's a weak fish. It smells strong to me. <laughs> What's the use? The first customer in a month and no sale. What's the matter with him? Top and monoxide. Come on, get busy and sell this fish. Fresh fish! Fresh fish! Fresh fish! Fresh fish! What's the matter with you guys? Hey, what kind of fish have you got today? We have rock caught sea bass, albacore and pickerel, sand dab, yellowtail, tuna fish and mackerel, bluefish, sailfish, top and top and if you wish, swordfish, whitefish, herring and gefilte fish. And, and that, that ain't all. all. Get away from me. Throw me up a mackerel. A sail. A sail to a seal. Let's throw him a fish. <laughs> Retreat. It's a gas attack. out of this business. Business? We've been trying to sell these fish for 30 days and haven't got rid of one. You call that a business? It's enough to drive a man to drink. Drink. That's it. We're going into the saloon business. Saloon? Yeah, saloon. S-E-L-U-N-E. -E. You don't even know how to spell saloon. Any sap knows you spell saloon with a C. Come on. Ooh. Hey. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. Shop. Interested in the good business today, senores? Yeah, we'd like to buy a saloon. It's got to have class and it's got to have beauty. Oh, you want a beauty saloon? I have the best one in whole Mexico, and cheap too. Mexico? See, si, just across the border at Cucaracha, one hour's drive from here. Do they have bee girls? See, si, see. Si. Sea girls? Oh, boys, mermaids. You know the thing with the brush on the bottom of the oh! Can't you forget the fish business? How much do you want for the saloon? You give me $300, I give you the business. We'll take it. Gracias, come in, gracias. Oh, boys, Mexico, here we come. Out of there and quit stalling. Who are you serving in there? It's locked and we have no key. How are we going to get in? How should I know? Use your head. Let me see. Where's the bar? Where's the pretzels? Where do they keep the Mickey Finns? Say. What is this? Something wrong. This ain't a saloon, it's a beauty parlor. Are we saps? The guy said he was going to give us the business. He did? But you can't blame me this time. Yeah. Wait a minute, wait a minute. There's a lot of money in making homie dames beautiful. Yeah, but you gotta know how. I saw a guy paint a car once with a spray gun. So what? So you spray the nails with paint and call it a manicure. Hey, I know how to bleach hair. You do? Certainly. My last wife used to bleach her own. It's a cinch. You take a gallon of gasoline, two tumblers of bicarbonate soda, an ounce of iodine, and a pinch of mustard. Oh, a pinch. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, oh. Go on, get busy. We've got to clean up this joint. Go on. Mm. Mm, 
Powder. Florida skunky. My favorite flavor. Kid, it was only an accident. What's it say there? Oh! Mm. Want to start a war, eh? No, wait a minute now, kid. Wait. Take it easy. Did you get surrender? Yes, we surrender. Well, that's much better. Oh. Here you go. What's the idea? I'll tell you the idea. Oh. 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 Give him good. Look out, look out. Put it down. Put it down. That's better. Buenos dias, gentlemen. Buenos dias. I am Manuel Gonzalez, proprietor of the Cantina La Rosa. 1410 South American Way, no cover charge any time. Glad to meet you. Glad to meet me. Gentlemen, prefer the blondes, and I want you to bleach my chorus girls to blondes, sabe? You have a sense, mister. Oh, I want you to meet Juanita, Conchita, Pepita, and Rosita. They must be hungry. They all ended neater. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> Haven't I met you someplace before? I know your face, but I cannot put you. What? Oh, my English is not so good looking, no? Your English is atrocious. Oh, so sweet. Thank you, senor. Uh -uh. Well, I see I'm going to get no place with you fast. Oh, no. I no go no place. I was... Oh, skip it, skip it. <laughs> Senor, can you make my hair henna color? Henna color at all, kid. <laughs> Mister, can you crop on all? No, but I can sing. No, no, you don't understand. I mean, can you finger wave? Oh, certainly. I can also wiggle my ears. <laughs> Then you will do the bleaches for the girls, no? And how? When we get through with them, you won't recognize them. That's what I'm afraid of. Keep your fears to yourself. Whoa! Don't forget La Cantina de Rosa. Yeah, we know. 1410 14, South American, American Way, no cover charge any time. Glad to meet me. Adios. So long. Goodbye. Skip together. Toodaloo. Break a leg. Go, will you? Come on, we got bleaching to do. Let's go. <laughs> Let's wait, please. You wait right in here till we're ready for you. <laughs> Thank you, senor. <laughs> Look up, don't you dare. Did anybody ever tell you you had beautiful black eyes? Get back there and get to work. Park it, Butch. I want a facial manicure and a hair wave beside the bleach. Okie dokie. I think I'll take a nap, and if I fall asleep, don't wake me. Just relax. Hey, change that facial to a mud pack. <laughs> What does she think I am, a magician? What does she mean by a mud pack? You heard that expression, here's mud in your eye? Yeah. Well, go get some mud. In her eye? No, your eye. Ooh. You put the curlers in the hair, I'll manicure her nails, and we'll bleach their heads together. Well, what do you stand there for? Hmm, cactus. Oh, 
Here's the mud. What are you waiting for? Right. <coughs> Quiet. We'll do what we're doing. It's a mud pack. <coughs> What's going on? Here? Oh, the mud. Oh, well, that's something. Lay down, lay down. Quiet, will you? Oh, good. You know. What are you what patting are you? on my hand? What's the matter with you? Here, go on. Finish the mud pack. I'll all take right, it over a manicure. Go you. on. Boy, I'll say she needs a manicure. Look at the length of those nails. What lunch hooks? Hold still. you tend to your own business. Why, you... Give me that. Get out of here. Hey, you. That much dry. Get it off. Any brains, I'd knock them out of you. Put the chisel on there, Chisler. Yes, sir. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. Where's the gadget that workman left here? I'll get it. Hurry up. Ah, oh, wait, get it someplace. It's all right, try it. Now you've ruined the drill. Where's the hammer? There it is. Stand clear. <laughs> oh. What's the matter with her? I'm ungrateful. Hey, you forgot your bleach. Never mind her. Get the other girls. You get the bleach. There we are. Oh. Hiya, Toots. Hey. <laughs> you work on that chair. I'll work where I please. You will. <laughs> See that? Oh! oh, 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 oh I'm sorry, Mo. Oh, Cut it out, Mo! <laughs> oh, you got the poochie all wet. Oh, a little poochie, they got you all wet. This stuff's too thick. Get something to thin it out. What'll I get? <laughs> Anything. Get something. All right, always picking on me. I'll get bet something. your ears down. Ah, oh, you're doing something. Oh. Hey, Mo, you're going to be bleached. So are you. Oh. Get busy.
take it easy. Be all right. Them pigs, I will shoot them so full of holes they will look like the Swiss cheese. Hey! For what you did to my Rosita, I'm gonna kill you. Wait a minute, pal. That was a mistake. Well, you see how beautiful we breached these girls. All right. I shall wait. Ready, men? Presto! Changeo! Domino! Ha, you pigs! <laughs> Was that a narrow escape? that environment is the keynote of social distinction. Nonsense. Heredity is the backbone of social life. I say environment. Bah, heredity. I'll wager you $10,000 that I can take a man from the lowest strata of life and with three months' time, with environment, make him a gentleman. Well, of course, there are exceptions. But I'll make it two men. Make it three and I'll accept your wager. Three it is. And in three months from today, I'll collect from you. <laughs> Come on, get the word. Well, Professor, I'll call a taxi. Hey, what are you doing over there? Do you realize you men of us are in this? I'll call the police. Now listen, mister, listen. I can explain the whole thing. Certainly. You stay out of this. Oh. And you too. I didn't say nothing. Well, that was in case you do. Seek no further, Professor. Here are your three subjects. Yeah, right out of the rubbish can. I forget what happened. If you men will promise to do something for me. Okay, we'll do it. What is it? Permit me to transform you men into gentlemen. Oh, no. Oh. Police, help, Hold please. Hold on. You know, it'd break the old man's heart. But you got the drop on us. It'll disgrace us for life. I won't be able to look my children in the face. <laughs> OK, we'll do it. There's my car. Climb into it. OK. Wait a minute. I forgot my coat. Gentlemen, are you ready for today's lesson in table etiquette? Certainly. Sure. Well, we'll... Uh... <laughs> what are you eating? Beans. Hey, you dropped one. <gasps> My bean. Uh, by the by, how is the countess? 
I said, how is the Countess? No, no. Get it right. Get it right. How can I get it right when he won't answer me? I beg your pardon. How can I answer with my mouth full of food? Quite right. Quite right. Say, you ain't got a toothpick on you, have you, bud? Oh! Ah! Commence. Oh, see the cat. Does the mouse see the cat? Yes. The dirty rat. Oh. Proceed. Oh, see the deer. Has the deer a little dough? Why, certainly. Two bucks. Oh! Oh! Boys, I don't want to lose my temper, but this has been going on for two months. Listen, I have $10,000 at stake. Now, please, please, concentrate! Can you spell cat? Certainly. Spell it. Cat. K-I-T-T-Y. Pussy. <laughs> now, in order to become good dancers, you must follow me closely and do exactly as I do. Do you understand? Okay. All right. One, two, three, dip. One, two, three, dip. Now, can you do it? If it ain't the dipping, it's the counting that's got me. Oh, never mind that. I'll count for you. Come on now. One, two, three, dip. Oh. Come on. One, two, three, dip. Get you. Leave him alone. I'm quitting. Put up your hands. No! You're quitting, eh? Hmm. There. What's the matter? What's going on? Get out of here. I'm not dancing. Hey, put your hand on your rear. Come. No! Here's a dance that's most popular in society. You'll never go amiss doing this. Now follow me closely and do exactly what I do. Ready? Oh! Oh! Well, get started. Oh! to make your debut in society. And it's up to you boys to prove that my experiment is correct. Professor Nichols is coming to the reception and your behavior tonight will decide our wager. Please, do not fail me. Don't worry, Prof. It's in the sack. Certainly. <laughs> now then, gentlemen. Remember your etiquette. What's that for? We didn't do nothing. That's in case you do, and I'm not around. Now remember, no liquor, no fooling around, etc. Are we allowed to smoke? You don't see any signs around, do you? <laughs> Tonight, I'll prove to you that you have lost your wager. <laughs> we'll see. Gentlemen, allow me to present the Professor Nichols, two daughters. Brother, can you spare a nickel? Always the little clown. <laughs> now, Prof, I don't mean to misrepresent you to cast Millar jurisdiction upon you by using such high influential language, but, uh... He means it's okay. <laughs> Ladies, I am charmed. <laughs> What happened? Nothing. Come here. Come oh! 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 Oh!
Would you care to dance? With pleasure. I changed my mind. I think we'll sit it out. Oh, all right. Oh, your dancing is atrocious. Oh, thank you. I couldn't dance a step last year. But... Oh! Don't go away. Wait a minute. What happened? I know it's that left pivot. Let's try it again. Pardon me. Are you dancing? Are you asking? Yes, I'm asking. And I'm dancing. a slice of throat. Drinking? Why, certainly not. Where's that bottle? I don't know. Oh, there you are. Shall we dance? Why, certainly. studied the mystic powers of Brahma. Someday, you will find the eternal spring. If 
find it. Lady, I got it. What are you going to do with it? Get rid of it. Mrs. Rich for annoying you with these rowdies. What do you mean, rowdies? Spread out. <laughs> Spread out. This is our punishment for associating with the hoi polloi. Gentlemen, did you call? You see that? Garçon. Oh, calm yourself, Mrs. Bedford. He's in the hands of the world's greatest specialist. Don't we'll pull him through. I hope so. To the operation. The operation. To the operation. This is Monday, eh? Yeah. Come on, get busy. We got operating to do.
Gloves. 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 Serious, Dr. Curley? Yes, indeed, to say the least, if not less. Hmm. The perambulation of the pedal extremity is impeded by the insertion of a foreign botanical offshoot. Now, gentlemen, we must proceed with caution. This Bedford dog is worth a fortune. So it is. The instruments. The instruments. 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 shall go down in history. I didn't know you had it in you. I didn't. She did. No, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh. Looks like a botanical offshoot in the upholstery. We'll have to operate. Oh, no, a thousand times no. Get the anesthetic. Get the anesthetic. The anesthetic. Oh. Administer the anesthetic. Oh. 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 was a complete success. That's wonderful. Now I can show Garçon in the dog show tomorrow. Come, Garçon. No, no, he must rest here for a few hours. Yes, we'll have it back about four o'clock. We'll see that Garçon gets the very best of attention. Oh, yes, madame. Thank you. Good day, gentlemen. Good, Good day. day. Oh. Nurse, put the dog to bed. Dr. Moe, Dr. Larry, Dr. Curley. What do you want? Two important visitors to see you. OK. Hey, that noise must have eaten catnip. <laughs> oh. One little kitten lost its mitten. How careless. Here they come now. How do you do, gentlemen? We're from the Daily Star. We'd like to get up a feature story about your hospital. That's fine. Follow us. We'd be happy to show you around the place. Hello, Clinton Head. Uh, here's our general ward. This is where we keep our mixed patients. Now, this cat suffers from operatic tendencies, like to sing opera on the back fences. Mo! Mo! I can't see! I can't see! What's the matter? I got my eyes closed. Ah! Well, lay off, lay off. You get the mm. Dr. Mo! Oh, here's an interesting case, gentlemen. What's wrong with him? He's suffering from acute alcoholism. Ain't he a cutie? <laughs> He's a lap dog. A lap dog? Yeah, he lapped up two cases of beer. A bad case. Keep a cool head, kid. Now, right this way, gentlemen. <laughs> He's in height. Now, here's a peculiar case. See that? What's GCM mean? Garbage can moocher. Yeah, he's got a bad case of scavengeritis. But we'll cure him. See that? Right this way, and I shall demonstrate. It never fails. The dog puts his head inside the garbage can. We step on the valve, which propels a stream of water into the dog's face, frightening him. Now, after several such treatment, the patient is entirely cured. Now, note the simplicity of the construction. And it always works. Oh, Marty! I got you. I'll tell you a esophagus out. Open your mouth. Ow! Quiet. You want to wake Garson? Who's Garson? That's Mrs. Bedford's prize poodle. Oh. Calling Dr. Curley. Calling Dr. Curley. Go to room six. See a man about a dog diet. <laughs> 
calling Dr. Larry, calling Dr. Larry, dog in Ward 8, chasing his tail, bit himself. Is that serious? Will it hurt his carriage? I don't know about his carriage, but it's going to race Kane with his wagon. Calling Dr. Moe, Pomeranian in Ward 6 has a coat on its tongue. What should we do? Give the pants and vest and take him for a walk. <clears throat> Pardon me. Come on, we got to pull this job in a hurry. We'll hide him in the old house until we get the ransom. Calling Dr. Curly, calling Dr. Curly. What do you want? Listen, you onion head, you march yourself right in here and wash this dog. Oh, you do it yourself. Oh, mutiny, eh? Yeah, mutiny, it's not on a bounty. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. 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 <laughs> now, come on in here like I told you. Hey, wait a minute. What do you want? Help me out, I'm stuck. Are you sure? I'm positive, I can't move. Oh. <laughs> she loves me. She loves me. Oh. She loves me. Oh. She loves me. Oh, I'll fix you. I'll fix you. Oh. <laughs> Calling all curs. Calling all curs. Dinner is ready. Come to the dining room. That is all. As hungry as a whale. Bring on the food. <laughs> yeah, bring it on. We're ready. Very good. Very good plan. Now don't worry, there's enough for everybody. Take a look at this. Oh. <laughs> Is this my dinner? Why, certainly. Fricassee bone. It's delicious. Mm. Since when do I look like a dog? I don't know. I ain't seen you lately. You ain't, huh? <gasps> hey, leave me alone. Bedford can have her dog if she pays $2,000. Don't tell the cops or she will never see him again. Those guys weren't reporters, they were dog nappers. We gotta stall Mrs. Bedford off till we find her dog. Now start thinking, if possible. <laughs> What's the matter with you? I'm trying to think, but nothing happens. Hey, fellas, look! It ain't so serious. Here's his collar and leash. All we gotta do is refill it. That's brilliant, that's smart. <laughs> oh! Look out, I got an idea. I wonder what he's up to. Sit down there. Now, here's the idea. We've got to disguise this mutt to look like Garson. The old lady won't know the difference. Get to work on that mattress. Nice, get the glue. You get the black paint. Stop pulling, boys. Pile it up now. Hey! hey! What's the matter? It's got dandruff. Oh. You get to work like I told you. Ow! Go on, get busy, will you? My hair. He looks more like Garson than Garson. Nobody will ever recognize him. That mattress hair turned the trick. We brought Mrs. Bedford's dog back. All right, but keep it away from me. I don't like dogs. Come on, come on. Just wait right in here, gentlemen. Madam will be right in. Whoa. Go away, dog. Go away. 
You is scared. I'm getting out of here. Yeah. Hey. Here's to you. Not to me, to you. Almighty. Seltzer. Then I'll have some too. I know, you didn't mean it. No, I didn't. <laughs> Look. What? Why? Uh... Oh! That's ice! Oh! It's gone! Oh! 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 Hey! 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 How do you do, doctors? Well, where is Garson? Right here. Garson. Garson. Hey, Garson. Garson. Hey, Garson. 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 Yeah. Hey, Garson. Here he is. That's not my dog. Oh, she fainted. Get something. Do something. All right. Do something. Oh, I'm sorry. You fiends! You vandals! What have you done with my dog? I'm sorry, lady. We made a mistake. We broke. You get my dog back, or I'll have the police on you. We'll bring him back. Alive. You'd better. We better get the dog back, and she'll have us in jail. Come on. Jig us up, boys. I can see us in jail. Yeah, on a rock pile, making little ones out of big ones. Listen, bloodhound, if you've got any blood in you, you'll find Garson. Now go on, do your stuff. Look, he's gonna find him. Come on. He sees him. On your toes, you heels. He's calling us. Double-crosser. Listen, if you've got any pointer in it, you better start pointing and point out those dog nappers. Get the point? Hmm. No, 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 no. He must be a point setter. Quiet, you hot air, Dale. I wonder why we haven't heard from the owner of that dog. Search me. Don't be a point setter. Stop pointing. Come on, he's on a set. <laughs> Get out of the way. We're looking for a dog. He had four legs and a tail. Now I ain't seen no dog. <laughs> Oh, I told you to stop it. Oh, oh, oh. 